20 years that the Apollo retail line has been out available to the public. Tell me a little bit how that got started, how your dad got that idea, and how it got underway. Yeah, you know, it was good friends, and then Topps was one of the leading, uh, Frank Toscano was there, and drank a couple gallons of wine, you know, and they started talking about, you know, really, you should put this dressing and the sauce in the homes, let people be able to do things and give it out as gifts and different things, and as well as is for fundraisers and help people out in, in fundraising activities, and that was 20 years ago, and my you know, time flies by, but it's really start, evolved into really something bigger than we've ever anticipated. Uh, I mean, there was over over 500 some gift boxes alone that are donated out to fundraisers and helping people out, and not yeah. counting yeah every year, and not counting the, the the funds that are raised and help support our scholarships that to date, as well as contributions to the, the Western New York community. That's over over $900,000 to this point. So it's in 20 years, we're very excited about how far it's come along. And a testament to the quality of the product is that it's been on shelves for 20 years. Yeah, well, we appreciate that. They love that little bit of Italy right there for sure, and it, and it's been great. I mean, UB and Petty Bones and and the casino, all uh, uh, I've been people uh, sell our product there also, which is great. So we're really excited about how far it's come in 20 years. And of course, the, the scholarship fund. I mean, so much money's been raised to send these high school athletes on to college, but more importantly, other charities such as Children's Hospital and whatnot. I mean, it's who would have known back 20 some years ago that it would have on to the point it is today. How much money has been raised so far? Well, like I said, over over 900000 and we've been able to contribute back out. But you're right, it's something else with the sauce. And, and with Center for Handicapped Children, Moving Miracles, you know, you're with us there, and we're doing the Christmas parties and everything for those kids and with the food. And, I, I mean, it's a special moment. And my father always believed that, you know, that the best times in life come around the breaking of the bread at the table, and food is the center of it all. Many a deal's been made over the homemade wine, but you've never thought of putting that for sale, have you? <laughs> because everyone will go to sleep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we stick with my brother's lemoncella. It's yeah. better that way. Or they can't make it into work the next morning. <laughs> That's can't. happened to a few of us. The wine flu has hit <laughs> your man. <laughs> Once or twice. Yes, yeah. it's right. No, it's been great. But it's it's phenomenal how far it's come. And you've been a key part. Our commercials won a National Telly Award uh, back in 1998. And, Bob, you were the voice of uh, Iliad well, Apollos. You know, feed me with food, and that's fine with me. Just so, that's what my father always wanted, breaking the bread. Frank, it's been 20 years that the Apollo family's enjoyed a partnership with Topps, which says something about both partners in this relationship. It sure does. We've had a great partnership over the years. We were the first supermarket chain to carry their sauces and their breadcrumbs and their salad dressings. It's been a great partnership over the years. They're a great local institution, and Topps is also a great local institution. So two local companies got together and, and really took the success of the restaurant and carried that forward to all of our customers, you know, throughout the region. You know, this is one of the reasons why Western New York is such a great place to live and uh, such, such a unique place. You know, Frank, we were talking before we started the interview. There was a, an Italian-American history to top supermarkets, and the DiPaolo family, of course, very much strong Italian-Americans. So their sauce on the shelves is just a natural for top. It sure is a natural. We were founded by a bunch of Italian families. Uh, I'm Italian. Uh, Buffalo it has a great Italian heritage and tradition. This was such a natural for us. Um, the people love this restaurant. This is a great local restaurant with a good casual atmosphere, a great family place. That's how we look at ourselves at Tops also, a, a great place for families to come and do their shopping. So the, 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 the connection was, was real. Uh, it, was, it was more than real. It was emotional for us. Uh, it's like doing business with your friends, and we had a great time. And the proceeds go to charity, which I know is big in, the, in, in tops as far as supporting the, the local community and charitable events. Sure. We believe very much that part of our mission and vision is to give back to the communities that we do business in. And this is just another example of how we do that. You know, the, the proceeds of this go to, uh, to local charities. Dennis and the group here at the Palos do a great job of making sure that the right people get the money, uh, and we're really glad to partner with them and look to partner with them for a long time to come.